Hello, my name is Hilary Pejos, and I'm the Vice President of Membership for the Dynamic Club 5581. I've been a proud member of Toastmasters since 2017, and during my journey, I like to find different ways to practice using these skills I'm honing with Toastmasters. And one area I'm particularly interested in honing right now are my evaluation skills. So I have decided to do an evaluation of the August District 11 newsletter, the volume two, issue two. I'm gonna analyze its content, structure, its overall effectiveness, and aim to provide some constructive feedback that can enhance future additions also while sharpening my own evaluation abilities. The August District 11 newsletter is a well-crafted publication. It successfully communicates its key updates and initiatives to the members of District 11. The newsletter includes a range of articles from various district leaders offering insights to the progress and goals of the district as well as practical information for club members. The content is engaging, relevant, and provides a good balance of inspiration, information, and calls to action. Some of the strengths of the newsletter is its diverse content. The newsletter covers a wide array of topics from leadership, leadership reflection, and it offers some practical updates on the training, club growth, and it offers you know, some informational value to the readers. There's some strong leadership messages in the articles um, with some motivational messaging, and that can resonate with the members. It's got the visual appeal. It's a nice, easy read with uh, enhancing visual aids for some of the technical data. One thing I really appreciated with the newsletter is that it includes hyperlinks for interactivity. You can select a link to view the pledge and it helps encourage participation within being interactive with the newsletter. I, that was pretty cool. Some of the weaknesses I would say is the content depth. This is of course an overview of our district, but it doesn't do much in regards to making it relatable to the member. But I also think this has to do with the fact that what level we're presenting information on at, through a newsletter. So a club can have a newsletter, the area can have a newsletter, the district can have a newsletter. And what information is relevant at which point, but when you are at a high level district newsletter, how do you keep it connected to the individual member? How do you relate it to that reader? And what does that information mean to them? And I'm curious if that's some of the disconnect that I feel with the newsletter and that might be why. Some opportunities though for that could be, you know, not every club does a newsletter. So perhaps, you know, engaging with clubs to submit some articles for the, at the district level to get small bits of participa participation <laughs> to submit an article without having to commit as a club to a continual newsletter. The opportunity with the pledge inside one of the articles, the hyperlink to open up and commit uh, really impressed me. I, I gotta say, I like that. But can we take that idea further? Is there a way to, is, is the people who are committing electronically through that hyperlink, is that being tracked? And can we 
somehow acknowledge people within that district level, you know, of, you know, these are the people who signed up and these are the people who brought a member within the time frame before December, you know, like that might be a, the next level of commitment because you've got people, you want them to select the hyperlink and do an electronic commitment, but now how do we take that and make it public? So I think that would be maybe perhaps, in my opinion, the biggest threat to the newsletter is that it's just district submitting. So how do we bring that connection down? Other than that, I think it is a great newsletter. We've got a message from the district director, a message from the program quality director, from the club growth director, and from the public relations manager. I really recommend giving this district level newsletter a read. It is engaging and provides some really useful information for Toastmasters. A couple of good facts just to help keep you connected with you know, the big picture of what we do and just to help foster a stronger sense of community to help provide just more value to you. So go check out the newsletter and I hope you enjoy.